Hey guys, this is Fallen, and I'm going to bring you an analysis of the IGN multiplayer trailer that was released at E3 for Destiny, as well as a couple of other trailers which I'm also working on. Now, I've been going over these trailers pretty much frame by frame for the whole thing, and although this multiplayer trailer does have some stuff that has been since gone over, since the subclasses were revealed and recorded, it is still kind of interesting to watch. Uh, a lot of stuff that wasn't either picked up or flew under the radar, or stuff you might not have even noticed if you went over it a couple of times. So here it is. A couple of things to note before we get into the video, you'll see them a couple of times in the in the uh, kill feed and around the screen, is the little crosshair symbol. You'll see that in the kill feed, and it basically means that the kill was a headshot kill, which I think is nice that they're adding that in. Now something else you'll probably notice is a little arrow symbol on the far left of the kill feed, and what it basically means is that this action, whether it was you being killed, you defending someone, or you getting a kill, etc., that action was somehow involving you, and so it makes it easier to see who killed you, who you killed, etc. Now, something you might also hear if you listen to the original trailer and any number of gameplays is just the weapon sounds sound really good. The auto rifles, pulse rifles, etc. They all sound really snappy. Some of the weapons even sound like some exotic weapons, like this scout rifle sounds a bit like the meter multi-tool. So it's nice that the sound effects array is increasing. I like that because I didn't really like all weapons sounding exactly the same. Now, however, let's dive into the trailer, and first off we can see the Titan Solar Grenade, which fires three to four lines of fire along the ground. Not the greatest grenade, but kind of fun, and it fires a line of fire in the direction that it hits the floor, so it's a matter of if it bounces off a wall and then bounces towards you, it'll fire fire towards you, or if you just throw it and it hits the floor, it'll go away from you, so it's dependent on the grenade, that the angle that the grenade hits the floor, not where you're standing. Now, second off, we see the new Monarchy shotgun from the victim's point of view, and you can see it's called the new Monarchy Hakei shotgun, which we've seen Hakei Crucible shotguns, but they've always been blues. Now, it's nice to see some legendary weapons that have some more interesting names. Now, moving on, you can see the Sunstrike melee for the Titan, which is the Titan's new subclass specific melee, and it's kind of nice to see that they will be able to do the same thing that Warlocks do. Uh, to so many other players. <laughs> now in this little screenshot you can just quickly see um, a little gold man, which we'll get back to that later in the video, and you can, on the back of that hunter with the snazzy green and blue cape, which I actually like, he is wielding a dead orbit shotgun, and you can see the really crisp black and white emblem of the dead orbit, it is really pretty unmistakable. Now as you see, this poor hunter thinks his super is going to be really great, He's, he uses the bow on these three players and he unfortunately just gets wasted. So this super is definitely not something you can charge into a room with like an overbomb. It is definitely something you have to be very smart about because as you can see here, the players may not be able to use their abilities, but they are able to really rinse this unfortunate hunter down. Now, something to note here is the underdog buff in the bottom left corner, which seems to happen when he gets to low health. It happens a number of times in the different videos that have been shown. I really still don't know what causes this. If you have any ideas, please let me know because I'm Pretty curious about this actually. Now we can see here the spark runner is taking the spark and he's got the underdog perk again which I still as I said I have no idea how it procs. You've also got the spark runner perk which basically just gives you a bit more damage resistance which Bungie have already gone over so that's nothing new. Now as he runs up here you can see as he's about to dunk they try to activate the supers to stop him and he does get hit by something and I think it's the hunter's smoke because he gets slowed and blinded, which I think is the effect of the smoke. And as he dunks it in here, you can see in the kill feed, he gets a bunch of kills, and he also gets the spark shield for three seconds as he dunks it, which is probably to, to, to prevent you from dying halfway through an animation, which would be really aggravating. And as you can see, he still has the underdog, even though there's no enemies nearby, so I'm not sure what that's for. Now, as you can see here, the supers in the bottom left-hand corner, so the uh, golden gun there, and the hunter bow there in the bottom left, and even the arc blade there, they all appear gold, which is nice that a bit more attention will be drawn to those particular supers, uh, well any supers in general that get kills, makes it a bit more special. Now here they start talking about skippable cutscenes, so just hear what they have to say about it, and I think it's a really good addition to the game, because I don't know how many times we've had to listen to the same cutscenes. I played the uh, the campaign mission over there yeah. at uh, your booth, and I noticed there's a cutscene at the beginning. I'm like, wow, this is really great. Is it going to be great the fifth time I watch it? Will I be able to skip it? 
if I want to. You know, I don't know if we're skipping cutscenes yet. So I actually have a quote from yeah. Justin Truman, the dev lead on Taken King, and he said, you can skip all cutscenes with the release of this DLC. Well, then what are you asking me for? I'm just making, you're, I want to clarify you on the to, air. You, you talked to one of the smart people that Bungie. actually makes the game. Yeah, yeah, if Justin Truman says you can skip yeah. cutscenes, we must be able to. Okay, that's awesome. Okay. Well, let's move back <laughs> to the... Okay, now here we can see the Iron Wreath sidearm. Now, this is the Iron Banner sidearm. It's been since been shown as the little preview that you get when you scroll over a weapon, and it has the classic dark green with light silvery colored uh, Iron Banner tree of life, or whatever it is, on the side of the gun. So it's nice to see. And it also does come in more elements than Ark. It comes in Solar and in Void. It just depends on which subclass you are playing as, for the sakes of this demo. Now here you also get to see the Hunter's Shadow Shot Bow. Now we're also able to see the kill speed of the Warlock Super from the other person's point of view, and as you can see, it kills pretty damn fast, so there's not really much chance to retaliate, which is, is good, because yeah, all of the Supers in this game generally are pretty strong. So it's nice to see that the third subclass Supers so far aren't really of a letdown, except for perhaps the Hunter, unless you're really clever about it. Now, what's interesting here is the character brings up his character's options screen, which is something I want to go into a lot, because there's a number of pieces of information in here. Now, first off, we're just going to go into the fact that, yes, you can indeed see the third subclass. Hallelujah, what a relief it is to see it there. Now, next off, we can see the Taken King logo next to all of the different weapons. This was nothing new. We saw this with Dark Blow, House of Wolves, etc. So, we, I probably could have guessed at that, but it's nice to see it there. We can also see in the heavy weapon slot the Surus Regime manufacturer inspired rocket launcher. A lot of the weapon manufacturers will have their own full set of weapons that will take the appearance or similar appearance to each other to bring a bit more depth and unity to Destiny's universe. So weapons like Surus Regime will have a cluster of other legendary weapons that go in other slots, which is nice. Now, next off, we also see the light level and character level displayed slightly differently. And interestingly enough, it doesn't show Grimoire score. Now, I don't know if this is just because of this being a short flow demo, or if Grimoire has been moved. Now, this brings me on to my next point, which is the progress tab up in the top left. You see next to character, usually going one over to the left would bring you to roster. However, there's another screen there for progress. And I think this is for Grimoire, which I think is a wonderful addition to the game, and it really needs to be in-game, because at the moment it really just does feel like some sort of third-party application to try and add some story into the game. So I'm glad to see it in the actual menus itself, because it took me a number of months to discover what Grimoire was, where to find it, and how to collect it. So, anyway, that... Next up, it brings us off to the Ghost, down below the Soros-inspired rocket launcher. Now, with the Ghost to appear here, to me means that it'll be more important and more frequently accessed, which would point to ghost skins, or even ghost voices that you can change or modify somehow. So I think that's pretty cool, and I'm glad to see that's being introduced. Now, a lot of people might think of apparently a green ghost skin that was seen in the No Legend is Safe by Doc. Now, I'll be covering that trailer soon, but just for those who aren't sure about it, it shows a Guardian pulling out their ghost on the Dreadnought, which is Oryx's ship, and it appears to be a different ghost skin. However, I think the ghost just looks green because it is in green lighting. If you want to test this out yourself, you can always pull out your white ghost in the hive arena of the Prison of Elders. Now next up we have a little locked slot below the class item. Now I don't know if this is just a sign of Bungie trying to make put more stuff here, and they're, they're taking up either the shader emblem or sparrow from the lower screen like they've done with the ghost, or if it's something completely new instead. So. I'm kind of hoping for something new because I don't change my emblem, shader, or sparrow over that often, so it'd be kind of interesting to see. Now, last thing on this screenshot, which I think is really cool, is down the bottom right, just below that little locked icon, it says L2 show damage types. Now, I think this is probably going to be along the lines of what you see on Destiny Tower Ghost or Destiny Item Manager. If you haven't used them and you play Destiny, I would absolutely recommend you use them, because if you use the companion app to move around your weapons, well, if you have a computer nearby and where you play Destiny, this is a much better way to use it. So just look up Destiny Item Manager in the Chrome store. Yes, you do have to install Chrome. Now, what now what Destiny Item Manager and Destiny Tower Ghost have 
is a little indicator in the bottom left. It's like a little triangle corner that's coloured either with nothing, orange, purple, or blue. And this basically shows if the weapon does arc, solar, void, or kinetic damage. So I think it's going to be really cool if they show this in the uh, in the game menus itself. It'll be allow you to quickly pick the right secondary, right heavy, and right primary for your situation, which mostly applies for PVE. But I'm quite excited for that because I'm more of a PVE sort of person. Now, last up for this particular game of Crucible, we have the Avenger medal in the kill feed. And the Avenger kill feed, the Avenger medal does look pretty cool, and it's nice to see they're making the kill feed a bit more accessible with a couple of new symbols and a couple of new little announcements that it'll make. Speaking of announcements, along with sound effects, Lord Shax will also be calling out things like multi kill, triple kill, etc. So I think that was also a really nice addition. Now, That'll do it for me for this video, guys. I hope you learned a bit, or at least saw some stuff you hadn't before. If you've seen something that I haven't seen, definitely let me know. Uh, like the video, free free, or share it if you found it informative, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.